Welcome back to Factorio and the April 2021 community map. So last time I got the utility science done there as well as previously doing a lot of expansion work. Really am short on copper though, this is basically the limiting factor right now. And not really much opportunity to add more miners here. So I basically want to go and get either this or one of these. This looks like it's the easiest one to get to because that path is mostly clear, so a few spawners on the thing. But getting with the other biters, last time I expanded here, was a real pain with just the uh, shotgun and the SMG. So what I've actually got is, got some new tech, since I have some petrochemicals and basically the blue science ready available now, is I've gone and got the mortar, because I haven't really tried this before. It seems to fire these grenade launcher ammo, which so take grenades. And they don't look too expensive, but they do need explosives. And I got the rocket launcher, and all the rockets obviously need explosives. These are just the normal ones. I noticed this one only took an extra 75 blue sand, so it's a really cheap considering how much it costs to actually get rockets. And um, basically taking an explosive rocket, adding six explosives in a steel plate, and it's making it go from 100 or well, 150 up to over a thousand. Now normally I don't use rockets, at least the personal like rocket launcher variety, because basically it just doesn't do enough damage for me to really care at all. Like, even if you like shooting worms and spawners, like, you'd think, oh, good, it's like a building demolition thing. No, it's really terrible. But with a thousand damage, it should be able to take out the worms nicely. It should be able to take out the spawners. And then it probably won't be much good against the horde, especially because it does AV damage. If you shoot a rocket, like, too close, you're going to kill yourself. But I can still use, like, turrets and stuff for that. But all those things needed in common was explosives. So starting off here, I do need water, so I'm going to extend off of the refinery here just because you don't need much water, you just need some and by building say that space is free but getting the water over there would be a pain. So the explosives they need the water, the coal and the sulphur. And you actually get quite a lot of explosives for not many things so I'm probably going to start with maybe three, maybe six. I do six would be something like that. And so my thought is if there's a pipe there and I need coal and sulphur and then the explosives output then Basically the thinking is that works very nicely because the pipe can go quite conveniently along here and here. Now let's see what was getting destroyed. A repair, air construction drone died. I'm guessing it was trying to repair the wall here and then basically it just hovered in some acid. That seems to be what they like doing until they die. So this, this is going to be a really simple and certain set up like that. Nothing really too special. And then I can get the resources off my belt here and here. And then going into the next one, looking at the mortar, I also need so iron, that needs coal. I've already got coal for that. So I need iron, I need circuit, and I need steel. So I'll bring those over as well. So explosives there to make the mortars. That's going to be coal and iron. So they're both 8 seconds, so if they're both 8 seconds, what I can do is have inputs there and there. So basically that's going to do that step, that'll do that step. Actually that's quite convenient, I can just get an inserter there on the way past, direct insert across there. And then the coal and the iron can come up there. And we don't need too many of these, I'll just make a storage chest. I guess I can make it here, I'm going to have to underground belt that anyway. So if I put that there, probably just a single stack of those. Then for the rockets, they're also all 8 seconds, so I might as well direct insert. So one thing is if I put the iron and the, what was it, iron electronics, they can come here. To make a standard rocket. I actually going to explosives as well, aren't I? So I guess explosives. Basically put the three things there, I'll figure out which one's which in a minute. Insert across to make the explosive rocket. Then if that's going to be explosives as well, then I'll insert it there, insert it there. And that'll go across to there. And then I guess with that I can do two of these, nice, nicely like that. So power poles reach three, but with the conveyor belt like underground there, it's easy just to do sets of two. And probably only do two for the time being, because I don't know how many of these I'm really going to want. So I'll probably link that up and then kind of have a... See how it turns out. I suspect with rockets, I'm not going to use a huge deal. Like, even if I use, like, I didn't notice it was turrets. I haven't tried even looks at turrets yet. But given the rocket's relatively high cost, I'm expecting there'll be 
We're using somewhat less than I do with, say, shotgun ammo. Oh, and these didn't steal as well. So what I can do is one half belt of explosives will be more than enough. So I'll put steel on this side and someone's getting destroyed again. Oh, they broke for the wall. I better go fix that and then I'll finish this off quickly. So I think what I did there was they broke one of the wall segments because they're all kind of attacking the same little spot. So I'm just going to reinforce that wall. I think the turrets themselves are probably fine there. Uh, actually what I'm thinking of doing is Having this like whole defense segment here is kind of done right now. What I want to do is just destroy this and then come down there or something. Sort of tidy it up. And when I do that I can make sure there's uh, transport belts and so forth for ammo. So while I'm waiting on that I have to get out a little bit of space because once you smart things I want to make rail track. Rail track will need iron poles and then the track with some stuff there. And I also want to make steel furnaces. So I like, can um, basically build the track for the copper and I think what I'll do is I'll just upgrade these in place to essentially double capacity. So steel furnaces, essentially they're dead end things, so there's no production chains to offer those anyway, they just want the stone bricks and the steel. And the bell track it wants iron poles, which I have iron there anyway, so I'm just kind of filling in a small bit of gap because I don't need very much this production. And then the rail track is over here, and that requires the steel as well and the stone. So if I have two sets of input here to bring steel and the two types of stone, that will do for those. See what just got killed. And I think that's a con the construction boss really do like getting killed. So this can just direct insert across there, there's not really anything else to do with it. I have two storage boxes for those, I should build some more storage boxes I guess. So I can just like come across there. That can get it steel and stone, and that can get it steel and stone. So I think what I can do here is if I forget about, let's just disable those for a second so I can think. So if that was to be for the stone, if that was to be like that, does that work? No, because that's going to be an underground belt there, then that could be an underground belt. Well, no, then that can be another splitter, then that can come around like that. That can underground there, and then yeah, the steel can come up here. I have like this crossroad thing, but that is fine. So then yeah, just get steel from here, not really an issue with that. And then to upgrade this, this is 24, so 24 steel furnaces will do a fast belt, so basically I just want to upgrade half the belt, so let's say they're going to be steel furnaces, they will fill up one fast, one half of a regular belt. So then all the ore above that point and all of the plates below that point, they need upgraded belts and then just upgrade all the furnaces. So I think the test is going to be really against this here so I can extend this defence zone around this clear. So I still think I'm going to need some turrets, build that a bit close, didn't I? Let's see how well this does against the worm. Okay, I've not quite got enough upgrades yet to destroy a worm. Well, that's a very slow rate of fire. I don't actually got any grenade upgrades. Probably I should have done a few of those. But it's still pretty effective with that range. This is the rate of fire that's going to be. I think even with upgrades, maybe you can double it, like reasonably, I don't know. It's still going to be very, very slow though. Well, it has definitely done its job against a base like this where I can just hide behind some turrets and just kind of shoot it from outside their range. I think one more to go, and yep, that base is dead. The other problem is, while it's reloading, it stops you like moving, so if things did catch up with me if I was in the open, like here. Like, if those biters were closer, I wouldn't be able to get back to the turrets. In fact, yeah, they did very nearly catch me up anyway, didn't they? Let's try the rockets, because I think that's got. Yeah, it slows you down a bit, but it's got a much faster reload. Okay, is that getting some bites to attack me? Probably not worth really trying to shoot these with mortars and stuff. They're also kind of going to be hard to hit safely. I got rid of a few spawners. Let's get rid of that big biter there and then push up. So I'm big groups over there, but as long as I don't aggro them, I'm probably okay. Another spawner down. They're not coming in very 
not coming the wave right now, it's just the ones I'm getting too near, like proximity, it's like proximity attack or something. Okay, that's a bit bigger, let's try and hit one of those big biters. No, I time that terribly because they got stuck in that rock. Let's just go for that. Okay, so let's kill them in pretty much one shot, so that's nice. Let's see if I can hit that group over there before that causes me trouble. Then one away. Oh, that's very nice, it killed the entire group. And then let the turret. I guess with rockets being worthwhile again, like if I had point defense lasers, which we don't want fusion for, which means I need utility which means I really need copper. That'd be really a great combination. Or well, I guess if I made capsules, but I haven't done any of the research on capsules, so I think destroyer capsules are quite high. And uh, distractors. Well, the point is getting the research from as well. Now uh, they are destroying my turrets there. That was a much bigger wave than I expected. Rock is taking out some good numbers of them though, but I think I had a hundred ammo in each of those, that's really kind of sucks. Yeah, I've lost uh, probably like a thousand ammo, that is, because ammo is expensive, that's like, what, five thousand copper, that is not good. Well, I guess because it's because they got dark again. This night attack thing, I don't know. It definitely makes things very challenging. I know the construction drones are getting themselves killed. Yeah, but now I have very little ammo for doing this attack with. I've not re I don't really want to spend the time to make more ammo. I mean, it requires so much copper to make it. Probably what I need to do is just wait until day. The shotgun turret should do a fairly good job. You can see there's plenty of attacks around here as well, but the shotgun turrets, well, look how many are dead over there. So we just want to finish off that base, so... I don't know. I've got 400 ammo, so I can put down some more turrets. Okay, that's a very big... Oh, I did not want them doing that, please don't aggro. Because uh, they got destroyed, they put the ghost down. Yeah, I guess I've got, I've got the shotguns on me, as long as I don't lose too much shotgun ammo as well. I was going to use that to refill the defence line at some point. But let's see how well this works. Wow, because sure I've got fish there, I'm getting kind of surrounded. Turn that turret round because what happened there was the... They're coming around the side here where the turrets can shoot them. Sneaky, well, I kind of led them that way, that's kind of my fault. I don't actually know if I need to destroy that, I'm not sure. It's quite a big base as well, because I want to come down to. I don't know, maybe here? If I take a wall segment, what's that look like if I just come down to there? And then that would be off that. There's a gap there, that's kind of annoying, but I guess it would be like here. So then I'll probably just leave that, I'll probably just build the, if I just build here. So if I get some more gates, use the same design for the corners as I did before. So that's going to be there, and then I can have a gate like here. And I just need to get the ammo and stuff down. So, okay, they need to move very slightly because apparently I didn't build this wall in line with where I built it before. So that will move over like that. That can go there or something. I'll figure that one out in a second. Yeah, so the turret ammo will come down here. And I'll just copy paste the designs I used before. So once they move, that will be like that. But that was wrong as well, it should be uh, there. Put some more there just in case. Turrets are actually really cheap in this game, so I'm less worried about the cost of individual turrets. It's more the effort required to actually go and place them and 
ammo really because like one shotgun tote costs what like 10 copper and 10 steel and 20 iron one ammo costs like two so I don't need to actually shoot many bullets to basically pay their own cost and since idle turrets don't really cost any resources I'm not too worried about having like lots of idle turrets around I don't think it has any real bad effects these will all be no longer needed so I can also essentially I'm recouping all of these to put down there Just in time for the night apparently, I uh, wasn't tied pair but I've managed to get some ammo in those quickly as it seems. And yeah, that night attack nearly caught me off guard, I did just about have those turrets ready in time. Fence here is working pretty nicely now, I'll probably just have to wait out the night before I can really do anything else outside. So I think the attacks have calmed down, so what I'm going to try and do is just put some turrets here. I just want to go to these spawners because I think they're kind of actually in the end kind of close and his rockets are pretty good at taking out those things so that's nice ok I don't want to get chased around by the big biters though I'll have to go back to using shotgun turrets because I still didn't get much more piercing ammo I lost so much of it nearly died that was close oh, I forgot I had a different number for the fish here I hope I don't kill those turrets again Uh, maybe things hadn't quite calmed down as much as I'd hoped. Let's put some more shotgun turrets there to provide some cover. Uh, let's just try and take out some more of those things. The more the spawners I take out, then the less stuff is going to spawn and constantly attack me. So that's why I try to go for the spawners like as quickly as possible if I can before stuff can spawn and to reduce their spawn rate. Oh, a nice big group kill there. I'm very short on ammo though, I didn't have much shotgun ammo as well by the time I'd refilled the others. And the problem is both of these types of ammo, piercing ammo and shotgun ammo, they both use a lot of copper. Which is kind of the thing I was trying to go and get. And oh, I've used up all the ammo. I meant to press the key to do half and half but apparently I mispre misclicked. Or something. Uh, let's try and let's just go get the ammo from these ones. How oh, far away from the rockets is, I think it makes it a lot better than the mortar. I guess if I got the mortar like earlier on, like how early could I've got that? When is the mortar? I mean, I don't know, that's weird. So it's a green science, but to get explosives. Yeah, so to get the explosives to make both the mortar and the grenade things. Well, I needed sulfur, yep. And to get sulfur, I needed oil, which means you're so... I guess you could, like, get the oil and do it before you do the blue, like, science setup. That could work. I don't know, it seems kind of hard to get that early on, though. Like, compared to the rockets, at least, since it's explosive technology both ways. Getting a bit surrounded, took out a bunch of them there. So there's only a few more spawners, but there's a big group here. Okay, that wasn't quite haunted. I'll oh, hit these, hit the big biter. Looks like the AI is getting a little bit confused over there. They don't seem to be quite decide if they want to attack or not. Okay, that was a good one. Let's take out that big biter too. And oh, that was a bit closer than I want it to be. And now I've got caught in the acid. Just lead them into these turrets here and then take out the last two spawners. And with that I should be pretty much just worms. Should be pretty much safe me so I can tidy up my stuff here and then go start looking at what I'm gonna do up here. 
So before I go on and do the train track stuff, I'm actually test out this rocket turret. So I've already got the rockets I was using before, so I've got plenty of those now. Test out these rockets because the turrets themselves they're pretty cheap. Just some steel, some iron, and some electronics. And because the rate of fire is quite low on them, I think they won't use up too many rockets. And if they keep shooting groups, well, I guess that spawn was kind of close, wasn't it? They keep shooting groups, that should be quite good, although I guess sometimes I'll just shoot one bite at a time. Let's wait until a proper attack wave comes along and see if it does something more useful. That's mostly just aggression because it hit that spawner, which I guess, yeah, is just outside the uh, shotgun turret range. There's like okay, a big attack coming in here. Now let's see how this works. Oh, okay, that's not good. Why did that happen? So there's a minimum range. It's really hard to see the minimum range on... See it on the map better? No, the map doesn't show it either, does it? So you can see like a green highlight. Hard to see that. It's about... It's about here, I think. Are they going to come kill me, aren't they? Okay, well that doesn't really count because I was trying to show you something. Uh, let's just go back towards the save and I'll try and show that again. Using some... What's well, something I haven't got that I can place down? I haven't got these reinforced walls. So if you look there's like a bit just about there I guess. It kind of comes around like a circus like that. It's really hard to see those bodies there. Especially on the green grass. But I think it's kind of like where those wall ghosts are. And so I think it's doing shooting a bite that was here. And as the biter it basically ran to here, and you can, that might even be the crater from the rocket actually. Kind of looks like a crater, doesn't it? And yeah, then hit all the turrets, all the walls, so that's not good. So I might have to think about how I can use these safely then. But it's got the minimum range of 15. Maybe if the minimum range was like 20, 25, or the far right was smaller. But there's no way for me as a player to change it. I could, I could basically mod my own game, like. I'm playing single player, and even if I'm playing like multiplayer, it's generally cooperative. I could just mod the mod, but there's no way of doing it on a per turret basis. And like, what I'd really want to do here is basically, I want them to shoot stuff in like that area there. I want that to be my kill box because once I get into shotgun range, those shotgun turrets can clean up. The idea of the rocket turret was just to do like long range area damage, just to sort of always do a large amount of damage to a large number of things. Because it'd be more cost effective than the uh, shotguns. Anyway, so I found out who the copper is. Had the robots come over here and divert the belt. Didn't do that too well, I meant to do it like that. But basically, what this means is I can then put a balancer, I think about here. I've not actually got any of the fast stuff with me, that's a bit unfortunate. Did I get that positioning right? So that would go there. No, but it's to be one. Actually, I could just go. Yeah, there. Then what will happen is I'll have belt over that way, belt there, one belt there. So I can have a total of four sets of these furnaces with this. And this will be the standard four way splitter. So it'll go like this with the underground belts. I haven't got any fast underground belts. So I'll build these. You know, what I'll do is I'll upgrade them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the input priority on that to this. So this will still get priority because that will back up almost immediately. Well, this will have some, this will have buffer capacity because it's got trains and storage chests and stuff like that. Then this will similarly be able to have like one, two, one, two on the platform. Get myself some steel boxes. I guess I could use iron or whatever, but I don't know, steel is convenient. So that will go, it wants to go like that and then like that so that it loads both sides of the uh, transport belt. Like that and then the track can go, did I get this right? Yeah, there's a possibility I got this one tile wrong because it's luck, I was going to just copy paste it if I got it wrong. So the track can go like that and I do want space for a turning loop. Just gonna have one train for the time being, so keeping it simple. Couple of train stops. So then the train stop is here. Oh, I wonder the nine features. It won't show me the like uh, 
It won't show me where the train stop is, like the wagons, until after it's built the actual track. Kind of irritating. Let's go back for the robots to come over and do that for a second. Because I don't know if I line this up right or not. Oh okay, yeah, so now the track is built, I can take this. And that will show me where the wagon stops is. So that's going to be one, two, three, and four. That's actually slightly unfortunate. Uh, can I make this work? Well, I guess I'll just move the train stop along one. The train stop doesn't need to be this far to the right, so essentially that goes. This will go. Oh, so it's going to be one tile offset, isn't it? Well, I can go there then, that's almost perfect. Then these will go here and here. So that will be one there, one there, there and there. Well, I've built this with fast belts as well. I don't think that copper patch there has probably give me like this much. Maybe, maybe it's one fast belt rather than like one and a half normal belts. Maybe, I have to see. But I might expand this in the future and if I build it this way, I can always put like more tracks up here or whatever. So the first thing to negotiate is going to be this because there's the water here and the cliff there. And I've actually got landfill. No landfill or explosive set up yet. What I think I can do is I'll just move these turrets out of the way because I don't think they're going to do any... Well, shotgun turrets do take a little bit longer to pick up, don't they? But I don't think they're going to really be an issue there because most attacks, if any, are going to come here. So if I just find a way for this track to get through... That's not going to work either because of the turning radius. Uh, if I just pick that bit of track up and I go like that... Now I don't expect too many attacks, so I'll put a wall here just in case, I guess. But as far as turrets go... I've got the turrets down there anyway, so I guess... Oh, was that not a shotgun turret? I was looking at the firing radius going, why is this wrong? Yeah, it wasn't even a shotgun turret. So I think what I could do just to be safe is like that. And they should be more than enough just in the off chance something does does follow the track down here. The unfortunate bit is if something does, it'll probably break the tracks, which is going to be a problem. Now the question is, I'm not sure of, is can I sneak past these spawners or is this too close? If I don't aggro the biters, I think I'm okay just to ignore them. And that they probably will never attack the train. But if I pick up aggro here, I'll have to go and destroy it. Let's see how my sneaking goes. Yeah, if I picked up aggro, so I back up and get some turrets down. Oh, the turrets doing their job well. But yeah, if I have to put turrets here, this is just going to be a constant battleground wasting ammo. So I think I need to go and destroy those, unfortunately. So I probably end up destroying half the trees as well. Not much I can do about that, but let's get some turrets put down there and there. And then should just be able to shoot those with rockets nice and easily. Uh, try and thin out their numbers. Are oh, they coming behind the turrets as well? Let's turn that around. There we go. It's a good thing the shotguns don't do friendly fire. That would be a Make this a lot harder, wouldn't it? Let's try and thin out those numbers as well. Definitely think in terms of like cost per damage, the rockets are extremely cost effective if you're hitting multiple things at once. Even more so than the shotgun turrets. And the shotgun turrets already made like the gun turrets look bad. Which might just been well. Normally I'm fine with just AP ammo on the gun turrets for Factorio on Death World stuff. But the really problem is this map setting, that is very, very little like copper supply. Normally I have like, there'll be some copper around here somewhere I could expand to. And both, well the gun, AP ammo especially use up a lot of steel and use up a lot of copper. And then also the shotguns, they use up a lot of copper as well. So I can't really think of a tidy way of doing this. I don't think it's going to get big attacks, I hope. 
So what I'm thinking is if I just give these like a small pool of ammo each. Maybe like this will be. Maybe what I've got theirs. Maybe I should just use the gun turrets, but I have kind of committed to shotgun turrets here now. Just need to make sure they have all the direct can fire in every direction basically. Just in case anything tries to chase the train. Now I've destroyed those spawners, so I don't think there'll be too many new attacks here. Probably those ones because uh, like as the player comes past, because I'm having to go very slow for like building purposes. Probably put some gun turrets down to sort of protect me as I advance through. I can pick them up later. Yeah, I figured that if I stopped here, I was going to draw some aggro. But it does look clear now, so let's just see if I can make the way to the mine. Well, they're only attacking like one or two at a time, that's not really an issue for me at all. Either use the SMG or just put some turrets down. Okay, so through the forest, and uh, now look at this, these definitely need to go, they're literally on the patch. I think this is all too close as well, it's going to constantly attack the wall. So what I probably need to do is actually go kill that, so I'm going to just put some turrets down to draw attention. Yeah, let's take care of that, and then I can just shoot out the two spawners nice and quickly. Go to the big biter, because I might as well save some ammo. Pick up these, and then just repeat over there. So this probably will be the harder fight, let's just go to these worms quickly before they kill the turrets. And just put out as, well, as many spawners as I can. Okay, that's all the ones I need to kill, and I just need to kill this like horde that's coming towards me. Try and take out some of those big biters and let the turrets clean up. That combination is working very, very well. Then for the train, I can probably just come around there, have the turning loop. Kind of like that, put the station there. Guess I should go close enough for the robots. These robots still don't have much range because I've only got the one personal way reports on me. I reckon I've gone with two. I did two last time because I've got quite a few batteries. Like I could probably afford to not have four of those solar panels, but I can't do what I've got and I don't think and I've not even got the stuff on me to build a second one. When I was around the base area I was constantly near repair turrets and stuff so I didn't really think about that. So the plan here is basically to have sets of chests again. Uh, so let's make sure this train is lined up where it should be, otherwise I end up... Actually no, you can't put copper into an engine, that doesn't happen, so it wouldn't be a problem. But yeah, you're going to have the inserters like that, have those like that, and then basically just split it two ways so the inserters get a chance to pick stuff up. And it's going to like more evenly distributed between the chests. It's not like a perfect way, but it's a quick and simple way. And then I can repeat this for the four wagons. And since there's four wagons, I might just use a basic four-way splitter, so do that. And if I actually had the right quick fire enabled, that would be make it a lot easier to swap between things, wouldn't it? And they go there. Where's the one like bands design I tend to remember? Because I tend not to play too much with blueprints, but this one I just kind of remember how to do it now. And then there's just gonna be miners over there. So the other thing I need to do is have some form of defenses. I'm thinking that because this is a electric miners produce some like level pollution, it's going to be a lot less pollution than this. I think it's going to get less attacks, so probably I can just do with less turrets. Maybe I can have like two and two instead of four. Should be a bit quicker to build. I still want to have a fence around it though, because especially with shotgun turrets, I just want to stop the biters like getting around behind. So then that would be like that on the corners. Uh, shall I just do that the other way around and then what I can do is I can put the box here that can make sure it has power and then this box is going to have all the shotgun ammo which I do need to go and pick up a load more ammo from the base as well and then this will just kind of, that was a terrible I kind of wish the walls had the, now they've added this like snap feature on the belts I kind of wish they had put the same thing on the wall but my preferred way is like how you do belts, which is you just use a blueprint and you blueprint like a larger section like that. Now looking at the turret range, I want them to just 
Okay, let's try and draw those towards where the turrets actually are. Okay, so I might get attacked from the north coming up as well. Okay, they've aggroed on the walls now because there was nothing there. Uh, let's get some shotgun ammo and just sort of put those there. And just in case I get attacked from the north, let's put some gun turrets down over here. Something like that. Yeah, so what I want to do is just basically have the pairs of turrets. If you see the minimum range on that is about there. Then is it going to show me? Yeah, it's going to show me when I'm in map view. So I just want the minimum range to like just overlap. Well, it's not the minimum range. I like the fireworks and the maximum range. It's just going to touch there. And I think this should aggro any group that attacks with as few like building as possible. And then actually I do want the pair turrets as well I think because I could do an entire robot network I think pair turrets just be easier I can give them some pair packs uh, maybe I'll put some box down with like spare segments of wall and belts and stuff just in case so with that I've got a functional outpost nothing really to show here on the copper miners so I'll probably skip that but they're simple strips that feed into that balancer and just bought some more shotgun ammo so I should have enough ammo now to reach all the way around and have a reasonable amount of surplus there because I don't intend to have a train to deliver ammo for this little outpost I think that's way too much effort also got a box here with some other stuff in it but with this extra copper now it's essentially I think doubling my copper production more or less but I guess I could check if I go ahead and find copper ore does it like the past hour so yeah I'm going from 1.5 to 3.5, I'm not sure what happened then, I guess it's messing around with stuff, that's quite unfortunate. Yeah, so that's actually more than doubled it, so that's very nice. So that should help me get more utility science, which will help me get other military stuff, so... If I do need to expand more, just some more cool toys to show off using the extra resource. Possibly to get oil, I think the nearest oil I found was this one over here on the radars, which is a bit of an effort to get over to as well. Well, oil, oil hack gets attacked even less than mines do because they don't generate much pollution. So once I get there, at least that's fairly simple. So yeah, this resource is going to help greatly and the rockets, especially the portable ones, are very useful. I need to think about how I might make the rocket turrets work a little bit better because I'm not quite sure right now how I'd want to use them. But definitely interesting and I also saw those like cannon turrets and stuff. So I will be stuff to check out next time though, so be sure to like, subscribe and enable notifications to see that one.